Alrighty y'all, this is World Class Jerk, and I have returned. I mean, most of you probably didn't even notice that I left, but the reason I left is because I had a PC that was barely capable of screen recording, and as it approached its later years and imminent death, it became basically entirely incapable of screen recording. As you can see on screen now, when I first started doing YouTube videos on said PC, it was relatively smooth. It was able to screen record no problem at all, basically, but here is a more recent video, as you can see, and the FPS is much worse, and it kept getting worse with time, to the point where really I couldn't do anything at all. And so yeah, I haven't uploaded in over seven months, but do not worry my fellow jerks because those days are over. Grandfather Jerk, I, I don't know why I called myself Grandfather Jerk, but Grandfather Jerk now has a PC that can effortlessly screen record without almost dying each and every time, which is absolutely glorious. So let's jump straight into this with what I like to call the efficiency altering augment. These are the augments that directly impact the efficiency at which you gather soil or resource veins. Now obviously these augments modify the terrain tool, so you need to know more about the terrain tool itself in order to fully understand how they modify it. And so my fellow jerks, this is everything you need to know about the terrain tool. It has three inventory slots that can be used for anything, but this is the only place that augments will be active, so if you want an augment to work for your terrain tool, they have to go on the terrain tool and for your inventory. When your backpack runs out of power, your terrain tool acts as if it is normal because all the mods will be deactivated, but they will reactivate once your backpack fills up with power again. And last but certainly not least, my friends, is the fact that the terrain tool without any augments on it takes a full 13 seconds to fill up a single small soil canister, which is an especially useful fun fact when comparing it to how fast it does so with mods on it, so keep that number in mind. And so now that you've received a full crash course on Terrain Tool Anatomy, it is time to get into the actual augments for this thing, the first of which is going to be the Boost Mod. The Boost Mod is exactly what you would think. It boosts the speed at which you can mine soil. In order to unlock the Boost Mod, you need 1000 bytes, and in order to craft it, you need a single Zinc. The Boost Mod draws 0.75 units of power a second, and it takes 11 seconds for it to fill up a single small soil canister. Next up is the Wide Mod, and this is another one that's self-explanatory, as all it does is widen out the circle that you use to mine. Just like with the Boost Mod, this thing takes takes 1,000 bytes to unlock and a single zinc to craft. Unlike the boost mod, however, it only takes 0.5 units of power a second to power this thing, which is extra strange because it gathers soil much quicker, as it only takes 5 seconds for this thing to fill up a small soil canister. Now it's time for the last efficiency altering augment, and that is going to be the narrow mod. The narrow mod, as with the others, is completely self-explanatory. It is the opposite of the wide mod. It makes the circle that you mine with a smaller circle. Just like with the other two, however, it only takes 1,000 bytes to unlock this thing and a single zinc to craft, and just like the wide mod, it draws 0.5 units of power a second from your backpack. Unlike the other two, however, this thing does not at all increase the efficiency at which you mine soil. In fact, it dramatically decreases it to a painfully shocking degree, as it takes 2 minutes and 47 seconds for you to fill a single soil canister full of soil with this thing. Yes, I indeed sat there for 2 minutes and 47 seconds just to time this for you, the viewer, so, uh, you know, you just got... And so this leaves an obvious question. Since the wide mod is really good, and the boost mod is really good, what happens when you can Bind them. Well, just to reiterate, it takes 13 seconds for the normal terrain tool to fill a single canister, it takes 11 seconds for the boost, and 5 seconds for the wide. But when you combine the boost and wide, it is just 3 seconds to fill up a single soil canister. Now I know what you're thinking, world class jerk. This information is great and all, but how does it apply to me, the viewer? Well, I'm glad you asked. If you only ever gather a couple of soil canisters of soil at a time, use the wide mod without the boost mod, as tagging on the boost mod will only save you a couple of seconds, which isn't worth the additional cost. However, if you often fill a large number of soil canisters at a time, you should go ahead and use both the wide and boost mod, as that little bit of extra speed eventually adds up across many canisters. Next up on the list of augments we're going to be discussing is going to be the drill mods. So what are the drill mods? Well, in Astroneer, there are different tiers of soil. Some soil is harder than others, and there are multiple different tiers of this. So actually, all three drill mods do the same thing, but level three, for instance, is just able to mine harder soil than, say, level one. But how does this work precisely? Well, according to the wiki, there are four different hardnesses of soil, and it ranges from zero to three. A soil hardness of zero means that the normal terrain tool without any augments can mine it at a normal speed without being slowed down whatsoever. Now this rule actually remains for the corresponding drill mods. Drill Mod 1 can mine Hardness 1 soil without being slowed down at all, Drill Mod 2 can do this to Hardness 2, and Drill Mod 3 can do this to Hardness 3. So what happens if you try to mine soil that's harder than what you're using is actually designed for? Well, each of these actually can mine one tier higher than what they're for, but they will be dramatically slowed down as a result, and they can only go one tier higher. So if you try to mine, say, two or three tiers above, 
what you're using is actually designed for, then it simply won't be able to mine it. It's just going to sit there and do nothing. Now I know what you're thinking. World class jerk. This information is good and all, but how does it apply to me, the viewer? Well, I'm glad you asked. If I were you, I would basically skip straight to Drill Mod 3 and not even craft or unlock the first two, because once you get Drill Mod 3, the first two are useless, so it's kind of a waste of your bites and your time to craft or unlock them. However, sometimes you do need a Drill Mod in the earlier game and you can't quite craft Drill Mod 3, so maybe unlock Drill Mod 1 and craft it, but honestly, you basically always want to skip Drill Mod 2, because going straight to 3 from 1 isn't really that hard. And now it's time for the third group of Terrain Tool Augments and Astroneer, and this group would be... I don't really know what to call it, so we're just going to call it Group 3. Group 3 only involves two different drill augments, and that's going to be the Inhibitor Mod and the Terrain Analyze. First, we'll discuss the Inhibitor Mod. What it does is it inhibits... I know, it's a shocker, but yes, it inhibits you from mining soil. Now, I know what you're thinking. What else are you going to do with the Terrain Tool? All it does is mine soil, so why would inhibiting me from doing that be something that is worth my time? Well, you can still gather resources, it just doesn't destroy the soil around said resources, so that is what makes this thing useful, but there's also another use when combined with the Terrain Analyzer, which I'm not going to discuss yet, so I don't know why I brought that up. That's all there is to say about the Inhibitor mod that was incredibly brief, so now it's time for us to talk about the Terrain Analyzer. So what does this thing do? Well, this time it's not self-explanatory, so I'm actually useful and I can explain something. What you do is you go and you find soil of whatever color you want. Then you begin to mine that soil. As you mine it, the bar on the Terrain Analyzer begins to fill up, and once it reaches full, it stays that way forever, and if you want a different color, you have to make another Terrain Analyzer. But whenever this is on your Terrain Tool, you can only mine soil of that color, which isn't particularly useful, so it actually has a second function, and this one's very useful, which is that whatever you, whenever you place soil, it is the color of the color that you put in the Terrain Analyzer, which means that you don't have to use the default gray color for all the stuff you make, which is actually incredibly useful. And so that's the third group of Terrain Tool Augments, but I know what you're thinking. Rolling class jerk. This information's good and all, but how does it apply to me, the viewer? Well, I'm glad you asked. The Inhibitor mod, as we've established, does not mine soil, but it mines resources. A good use for this that you may not have thought to do is actually using it to get organic, because organic's just all over the surface, but you probably don't want to destroy the entire surface in order to get it. Furthermore, if you combine the Terrain Analyzer and the Inhibitor mod, you actually basically turn it into a paintbrush, which allows you to paint soil without deforming it. So if you want a different color soil for something that's already has soil placed, you don't have to destroy it and replace it. You can use the inhibitor mod and the terrain analyzer to simply paint what is already there. And so now it's time for the fourth and final group of terrain tool augments. Well, actually, this, this one's not a group, it's just one. But I didn't think it fit in with all the others. It is the outcast, it's the misfit, it's the loser terrain tool augment, and it is the alignment mod. Now, I get questions about this thing all the time in the comments section of my videos, so evidently it is something that is very often confusing to people. And so today, we're going to clear all that confusion up because really it is quite simple. You see the alignment mod aligns with the center of the planet. That fancy little arrow in the center of the circle you use to mine is always pointed at the planet's core when the alignment mod is active. If you press control and you keep the alignment mod close to your ankles, it will try to make a level area that follows the curvature of the planet. If you slide the mouse further away from your character, however, the alignment mod will make the circle that you mine with go completely perpendicular to the center of the planet, so it'll just rotate it up 90 degrees so that you can make, I guess, a sort of wall. I've never found a practical use for this, but it's a thing that it does if you think you can use it for something. I'm just the messenger. Now, I know what you're thinking. World class jerk. This information's good and all, but how does it apply to me, the viewer? Well, I'm glad you asked, even though you didn't. You see, when you try to make a flat spot for your base without using the alignment mod, it just makes a completely flat surface on a circular planet, which basically means that eventually you end up having a ramp that goes into the sky once the flat area gets big enough. Now, I wish I could say that the alignment mod allows you to make giant level areas that are completely level, no problem at all, but unfortunately, that's not really how it works, at least as as of now. It is, it's a little rough when you try to make larger areas level with this thing, but it does follow the curvature of the planet, so if you prefer that, you can try to sort of make it work instead of just making normal flat areas. The truth is, if you want a perfectly flat surface in Astroneer, the only way to do that is with True Flat, and I don't really have time to discuss True Flat in this video, so if you want to know about True Flat, look at the top right, and there will be a video there for that if I end up making one in the future. If it's not there, uh, well, I guess I'm sorry. Anyways, my fellow jerks, that is all the augments in 
Astrodare. I hope you enjoyed this video, even though you most likely didn't. It is my first video back. I'm not used to making videos. My throat's sore. I'm just complaining now, but you know what? You need to subscribe because that would be something that you should do. So, yeah.